music and life to the full. X Rhythms. Introduce yourself a little bit and tell us just who you are and what you do. Uh, hello, I'm Rebecca Dimitro, and um, I was born uh, in Romania in a little town called Alexandria. And now I live in Scotland and I'm a farm manager. Mm. Wow, so how did you get from Romania to Scotland? Was that like a decision that like one day you were like, I want to move to Scotland? Or was it sort of like just next thing after next thing that led you there? Uh, while I was still uh, in my um, university years, in the third year, an opportunity arose for a working holiday, a mm -hmm. summer working holiday to pick fruits in the UK. And uh, together with a friend of mine, we decided to give it a try, although we have never picked fruits before. So that's how I first came in the UK. And so like with the Christmas box, because I find that so fascinating that you actually, you received one when you were a child, right? Yes, yeah. indeed. Where were you where you were able to receive that? Was it like a, a local organization or? 1993, uh, we um, were preparing with the other children a uh, Christmas carol concert. And this year it was, it was going to be a special year. The Sunday school teacher told us that we're going to receive some special presents that year. We would uh, normally receive an orange or a bit of chocolate. That was what we would get normally for Christmas. Oh, wow. And then you got a present on that, that Christmas. That's... Yes, a wrapped present, a <laughs> nice box. With I still remember the wrapping. It was light blue with little snowmen. It was a, actually, that was the first wrapped present I ever got. Wow. And do you remember what was inside that box? Oh, yes, surely. I remember <laughs> because opening that shoe box, it's like it opened a new world in front of my eyes. The first thing I remember is, is the smell of the box. It smelled totally different than anything I smelled before. And for me, it smelled like freedom. Oh, wow. What do you mean and by that? I don't know, because I lived in the communist times and everything was so scarce. We didn't have food, we didn't have uh, toys, we didn't have enough clothes. It, um, and when I opened that, that, that smell, it's just open like a new world. Like I felt like freedom when I opened the box. And yes, I remember things that were in the box. Uh, the Crayola crayons mm -hmm. and marker stamps. Uh, that I used uh, together with my brother to create our own comic book. Um, a rag doll, um, a toothbrush, a face cloth, soap, a little butterfly brooch, which I still have. Oh, wow. And the photo of the family that packed the shoebox. Oh, wow. Out of like everything there, what would you say was the, your favorite thing inside of the shoebox? It was the photo, actually. The photo. Mm. It was the photo, the beaming smile of the family, of the children that packed the shoebox was, was a really touching moment for me because growing in the communist Romania and as a Christian, it meant a lot of persecution, mainly for the adults, but even for children, um, I was like an outcast. Kids would stay away from me. I didn't have friends in school. And... Receiving this present, a packed present, a nice present for from someone that I've never seen before, mm. someone that cared enough for me to pack a present for me, and they put the photo inside. It was an amazing moment. It mm. made me feel included and loved and accepted. Oh, wow. And how do you think that that's kind of like influenced you a lot in like the rest of your your life in a sense? Because I know now you work for an organization that does that too. Like what, what was that impact that it had on you then? And how has that kind of changed the rest of the course? It did because it totally changed uh, my perspective, mm. realizing that I'm not alone, that I have friends all over the world, that I'm a part of the big family of God, strengthened my faith, mm -hmm. helped me to 
walk this path. And uh, eventually I ended up studying theology at the University of Bucharest and then continuing my studies in theology here at the University of St. Andrews. Mm -hmm. And um, eventually got involved with the very organization that um, helped me get this shoebox with wow. Samaritans first. Yeah. Wow. Was that something you always wanted to do when you received it? Like, did you think, I want to also be able to give one day one of these? Or was it just kind of like, oh, I'm just so happy to receive? I was very happy to receive and I wanted at some point to give back, but I never thought I'll be uh, able. I, I didn't know how to get involved with this, but it, it was God's providence. One day going to church here in the UK, in the church bulletin was an announcement about the Martin Spurs. And that's what, what started my involvement with them. I, I was thrilled to be able to give back, oh, to wow. give to other children what I received when I was a child. Mm. And is uh, that something that they do, Samaritan's Purse, is that something that they run all over the UK? Or is it just in Scotland? It's uh, all over the UK. They are processing centres, collection centres. Uh, all over the UK, they they also uh, they are also in other European countries and the, in the USA, mm. and they pack uh, millions of uh, shoe boxes that um, are sent to 160 countries all over the world wow. to children in need, children like me. Mm -hmm. Well, have you gotten to meet any other people that have received some of the shoe boxes that you've made? Yes, I did actually, and it's amazing how every shoebox has a special story, and mm -hmm. for different children, different items in, uh, in the box uh, really touch their heart or even change their life. If someone wants to pack their own shoebox and give, what do you recommend for them to do, and how can they get involved? Well, um, it's, although the boxes are collected around Christmas time, it's a collection week in November, which uh, it's closed now. So uh, if you still want to do it now, you can still do it online. Um, pack a shoebox online and you can go on the Samaritans uh, website, uh, uh, shoeboxonline.samaritans-purse.org.uk. Mm -hmm. So you can do one online. But this is like a whole year process. So first of all, make sure you don't throw the boxes from all the shoes you purchased through the year. So that's the first step. Get the shoe box, then wrap it nicely. And you can um, buy things through the year and keep adding it to the box or buy more around um, November, October, November, when is the collection week. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can put hygiene items, um, um, maybe crayons uh, or uh, marker pens, a wow item, which can be a soft toy or a ball or something that <clears throat> would really appeal to the children. And um, a letter or a photo of you, because mm -hmm. that was the item that really impressed me. And I think it's amazing to see the, the personal aspect of it and to uh, get to know the person that uh, sent you the the present. I would have like not have thought about putting a picture or like writing a letter to the person but it's really cool to hear about how that was like the thing that you liked the most in the shoebox was just getting to connect with the sender which I think is such a special thing. Yes I think so too so I I encourage um, all, all the youth that or people that want to pack a shoebox to add a photo of themselves of their family and write a few words of encouragement and tell the kids that they are loved. Mm. And so your brothers and sisters at the time, when you guys were young and received in the shoeboxes, is it in 19... 19 1993. 1993. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a yeah. long time ago. How did they feel about like their shoeboxes and what they received? They were very happy too, and they enjoyed the items, and we were like exchanging or playing together with the items in the box. Yeah. It was great joy and uh, a simple gift like a shoe box and the things that are inside uh, can have long lasting impact mm -hmm. on, on kids' life. And it's not only the um, what's in the box, the items in the box, which are amazing and they bring a joy for the moment, but um, Samaritan Spurs also um, gives leaflets and they give the children opportunity 
to go on the greatest journey mm-hmm. where they can learn more about Jesus and mm-hmm. the fact that they are loved and that has a deeper impact on their lives. Mm. I think that is so cool, actually, that it's more, less about just the gifts, but just that expressing love to the people who are receiving it. And yes. it's so like great to hear that you and your brothers and sisters felt that love as you were receiving the shoebox, because I know that sometimes we can all we can make them and not always like see the other side of it and see you know oh but how are these people going to feel but like knowing that they still feel the love that we're sending out at the end of the day when we're giving them a gift and just thinking about them in mind is really that's special and encouraging indeed that mm-hmm. that's the essence mm-hmm. yes. is there anything else you want to say to to people who are watching or interested in the samaritan's purse or what you're doing I just want to encourage them to pack a shoebox <clears throat> because it really has an impact and it brings a lot of joy um, and puts a smile on on the children's faces mm-hmm. and also gives them the opportunity to know more about Jesus and realize that they are loved. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Uh, thank you so much for speaking to me today, Rebecca. This has been awesome and just great to just hear your experience with it and um, just the fact that you're now getting to actually work um, in an organization where you're really helping out to dish this kind of love to so many people and you just have that heart for it. So that's amazing. That's, thank you so much for um, giving me the opportunity to share my story. It was a pleasure. Mm.